Hello everyone, Amy R here with Prairie Paper and Ink and I am back with a couple more cards from my Christmas card series. Very non-traditional cards today. <laughs> uh, my favorite things just had their November release and they'd sent me the release and I'm part of their MFT and Friends uh, feature today and I looked through all these stamps and dies and it's so funny how something will jump out at me at times and one specific stamp in one specific set and it's funny because it was the very first stamp that I saw when I was just flipping through the stamps and it was the sassy pants holiday set of course anyone who knows me knows I'm a rather sarcastic with a twisted sense of humor type person so <laughs> sets like this just I'm like yes yes so the sentiment said um, it's beginning to look a lot like cocktails and the second I saw it it's like the car just started building itself in, in my head so I wanted to create a scene and I decided to do two cards because I had two of those drink shaker wafer dies so I started off with my heavyweight white cardstock card base and I'm just sponging three shades of distress ink onto that my first combo was tumble glass broken china and just a little bit of chip sapphire I'm using the Pink Picket Fence Studios blending brushes that I've been raving about in pretty much all my videos lately. So I did that on the first card. And then on the second card, I did Dried Marigold, Spun Sugar, and Scattered Straw. Now with this one, you have to be a little more careful because when you pull in the Spun Sugar, it's a very pale pink. You know, Spun Sugar is just that perfect, like, pale pink. But I pulled in that and then I did the scattered straw from the bottom of the card base and you don't want to pull it too far because it's going to mix with that spun sugar and it's basically going to create like the dried marigold color. So the whole thing would have been orange. So I, you know, pulled that till it just got up to the pink and then I went back in and added more of that spun sugar just so you could still kind of see it. But I thought it'd be just fun to kind of mix up these um, color combos just so they're not the exact same. So I'd done that. And then I pulled out the MFT, the Snowfall stencil that had come out some time ago. Or was it last year? It came out a while ago anyway. But I pulled that out and I'm using the Aileen's Glitter Snow embossing paste over this. So I'm just picking it up with my palette knife, scraping over the stencil, and then I'm removing the stencil, making sure there's no little bits hanging over the edges, cleaning up the mess on my desk here. And then I'm gonna just quickly tape the stencil into place again on the second card scrape over the embossing paste and then I can quickly clean everything off with this of all the embossing paste I've used this one's probably one of the easiest to clean up actually you've got a bit more time than you do with like some of the glitter paste and other ones where I've always been very insistent it's like clean everything off immediately um, this one you do have a little bit of leeway so I've got both of them covered with their little bit of glitter snowfall cleaned up my stencil my palette knife and everything else and then set those aside to dry and while they're drying I'm going to start assembling the drinks and yes I'm wearing my pjs with uh that are covered with hot cocoa cups <laughs> these are my like I'm not leaving the house these are my most comfortable fuzzy jammies and I'm just not going to take them off and live in them all weekend so anyway um I ran some heavyweight white cardstock through my little Xyron creative station light so now the cardstock is coated with adhesive on the back and I'm also running through a piece of silver foil cardstock and a piece of gold foil cardstock through the machine. So same thing, those have adhesive now on the back. So I run that through, I remove the um, top little piece of plastic there and then I can die cut these. So now I've got the outlines of these drinks die cut with adhesive on the back of them. So once I've done that, I also took a little scrap piece of acetate and I'm just using the interior piece of those drink dies there as a little like rough guide to cut with my scissors just a piece of the acetate slightly bigger than those inside die cuts. And I totally didn't realize when I was doing it that I was like off camera because I'm usually holding my scissors closer up to my face so I can see where I'm cutting. So with the martini one, it was super easy, of course. With the margarita one, you have a few little curves, but it's still easy. It doesn't need to be a perfect cut because you're not going to see it but I just want this to create the shaker or at least the back of the shaker because I'm going to use the um, coordinating little shaker pouches that MFT has like a plethora of. Every time I use these or rave about these, it just, it makes making shakers so easy. So I've got my little martini shaker pouch. I peeled the backing off of the silver metallic piece, put the pouch into place. So now it's being held in place by the adhesive. 
And then I'm going to fill the shaker with some of the MFT frosty ice cubes. I showed these in a haul video forever ago and I've literally had them hanging beside my desk now for weeks. <laughs> so when I saw that sentiment, I was like, yes, perfect opportunity to use all this stuff. So I put those little frosty ice cubes in there and then I added some silver seed beads. And then I took that little piece of acetate that I had trimmed just slightly bigger than that opening, laid that into place on the back of this shaker. And then the white cardstock piece, I peeled the backing off and I'm just going to sandwich everything in between um, the silver foil cardstock and this white cardstock piece. So the adhesive on each is facing each other and that seals in the shaker pouch, that little acetate piece, the beads, everything. So now it's like basically a freestanding little shaker drink. And I was so happy when that was, when it worked the way I was picturing it in my head. So I'm going to do the exact same thing with the margarita one. I'm going to peel off the backing from the gold foil die cut there. So now the adhesive is exposed. I'm going to press that little shaker pouch into place and fill it with the little frosty ice cubes. And then this time I'm going to fill this one with um, gold seed beads. And I'm just using my little tonic spoon to kind of spoon them into place because seed beads especially, oh, they have a mind of their own. They, they just jump. They literally jump everywhere. So I just carefully pour those into the shaker pouch. And then I'm going to add that little piece of acetate that's just slightly bigger to sandwich that all in there. And then I'm going to remove the adhesive backing from the white cardstock die cut and then sandwich these together between um, the gold foil die cut and the white cardstock die cut. So now everything is sealed into place and I've got another freestanding little shaker drink that's completely transparent, which is really fun when you think of it as a, like an actual drink, you know, you would see through the glass. So I was, I was like, yes, this is just, this is fun. So I've got both my little drinks all ready to go. And then for the actual sentiment that was inspiring the cards, I die cut some more white cardstock with one of the MFT um, stitched snowdrifts dynamics. And I'm going to stamp that sentiment onto it with some Versamark ink. So I use my anti-static powder tool. And I decided to do metallic embossing for these sentiments. And I'm going to use gold metallic embossing powder for the gold card and silver for the silver card, of course. So I stamped that with the Versamark ink and then I'm using just tonics, gold, and then silver embossing powders. So I'm gonna sprinkle that on there, heat that with my heat tool until it is smooth and raised and melted. And then I'm gonna funnel the embossing powder back into the container and I'm going to use a separate, a separate coffee filter for the other color because I don't want to mix my embossing powders because there's usually, you know, a few fragments left behind and I do not want to mix my embossing powders, especially when I'm using completely different colors, you know, metallics, etc. So I lined up the second piece that I die cut with another of the um, stitch snowdrifts dynamics and did the exact same steps. I'm going to use my anti static powder tool, ink up the stamp with Versamark ink, stamp that onto that little snowdrift, and then I'm going to coat this one with Tonic's silver embossing powder. So once I've got that stamped, melt that with my heat tool. And then I can adhere these to my card bases. I thought that would be really cute to have like sentiment heat embossed on the little snow drift. And then the drink is technically sitting in the snow and we've got the snowfall background. So very wintry slash Christmas sort of a theme, just very non-traditional. <laughs> so once I've got all of that done, my backgrounds have dried completely. So I can adhere my little sentiment strip there. I'm just using um, Nouveau adhesive to do that. And then same thing with the drink glass shakers. I just apply the adhesive to the um, white die cut that's on the back. And then I can flip that over and press that into place and it'll adhere and you can see through it to the, you know, snowy sky behind the shaker, which is fun. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing with the blue card. I'm just going to adhere that sentiment strip into place and then I can adhere the drink to kind of be sitting right over the sentiment. So it's all just kind of tying in together. And then once I've got those adhered, I of course have to add something to the inside of the card. And there's more like a whole bunch more sentiments in the sassy, uh, sassy pants holiday set. And I really, I really like the one that says deck the halls and not your family. Fa -la, 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 la Sorry, I can't sing. It's the middle of the night. Literally, it's two in the morning when I'm doing this voiceover. So I can't sing on the best of days, but I 
definitely can't sing when it's two in the morning and my voice is all scratchy. So I'll, I'll save you all the trauma of me trying to sing anymore. Anyway, I've got everything adhered and then I'm going to line up my card base in my stamp platform again, purposely lining it up like upwards, like not butting it against the little lip there on the bottom because of that shaker pouch. Um, the lid won't close properly. It wouldn't stamp properly. So I'm lining up kind of the like spine of the card um, along the top there. So that makes it a little bit harder then to like, kind of line up my sentiment. Um, so I'm just using my little, um, what would you call this kind of L-shaped piece from the Misty Creative Corners that I keep. I use this all the time. So I use that to kind of straighten the sentiment to make sure it's going to stamp straight on the inside of the card. And then I'm going to ink this up and I'm going to stamp the um, this one with a dried marigold for my golden sort of pink card. So I stamped that on the inside of the card and then for my second card base, rather than try and like reline everything up, I just stuck this right on top of the other one. <laughs> it just made it easier. So stuck that card base right on top of the other one and then I can just re-ink the sentiment up. This time I'm going to use the Broken China ink and then stamp that on the inside of that card and that's going to finish off my cards. So really fun, really easy once everything was kind of figured out with the shaker element of it all and just something a little bit more sarcastic and tongue-in-cheek which I love. So as always there will be a link below the video to my blog post. I will have a supply list with links to all the supplies used so you can check that out below if you're interested. Thank you all so much for watching and subscribing and thumbs upping and commenting on my videos. I really appreciate it and I will see you all very soon in the next one. Bye!